Hi, I'm Mike Mahan with SMA America Solar Academy. In the tech tip today, we're going to cover how to update the firmware on a Sunny Boy TLUS with SPS inverter. If the system was installed with the WebConnect module, during registration with the Sunny Portal, automatic firmware updates are enabled. This allows the homeowner to get the latest and greatest firmware for their inverter without any interaction whatsoever. If for any reason it's desired to perform a manual firmware update, there are two methods to accomplish this. The first uses SMA's free Sunny Explorer software and the WebConnect data module, and the second requires only an SD card loaded with the latest firmware. For both methods, you'll need the most recent version of the firmware, which is available as a free download from SMA America's website. Simply go to the products page for the Sunny Boy TLUS with SPS, to the downloads tab, and the firmware section. On the product page for the TLUS, simply scroll down, click the downloads tab, and under the firmware heading will be the two distinct versions of the firmware, one for SD card and one for Sunny Explorer. The method to update the firmware with Sunny Explorer is the most direct, so we'll cover that first. Now it's important that you choose the installer level access, you will not be able to perform the firmware update using user level. So I'll enter the password for our plant for installer level access and click next. But here we have access to our plant with our Sunny Boy TLUS with SPS. We see that it is functioning, putting out about 2600 watts. To perform the firmware update, simply go into the tools menu and you'll see device update. Select that, and then you need to direct the program to that UP2 file. We've saved that the desktop in the folder, the update folder. There is the UP2. Select that and click open. The update file has been loaded. We will click next to send the update file to the inverter, and you see the progress bar this will continue during the update procedure for the inverter. If you happen to be able to see the screen of the inverter, you'll have visual feedback that the update is commencing. Something like update communication will happen. You'll see in the Sunny Explorer window, the inverter will stop exporting power for a short period of time and reconnect. Once the inverter has completed the firmware update, it will show back up in the Sunny Explorer screen. The display of the inverter will show the new firmware version but you can also check under the settings tab in the type label section the version of the firmware. It's right here, the software package, and we can see that we have 2.62.3. So the firmware has updated successfully. At this point, the inverter has reconnected and is producing power, and the firmware update is complete. So let's move on to the SD card method of updating the firmware. For the SD method of updating the firmware, we're going to actually have to power down the inverter and take the cover off. Make sure after you power down the DC and the AC that you wait at least five minutes before removing the lower black cover. With the inverter safely powered down, we're ready to proceed with the firmware update. Now you'll need an SD card that's formatted as FAT32, so no bigger than two gigabytes, and it needs to have a single folder on it titled update with the .up2 file inside of that update folder. Once you have that, we're ready to put it into the slot on the side of the display board. and now we're ready to power the inverter back up to start the firmware update process. When AC and DC power are restored to the inverter, you should see two messages. The first is reading SD card, and that should be followed by update file OK. Those messages signify that the inverter has found a valid update file on the SD card and is installing it. The installation process may take several minutes, during which time the inverter screen will go blank, then come back on, you should see, again, a reading SD card message, but this time followed by no new update SD card. That signifies that the inverter has seen the update file on the SD card, but it's the same firmware version as it has installed on itself, so you have successfully upgraded the firmware. Now that the firmware update process is complete, we've powered the inverter back down, removed the SD card, replaced the black lower cover, and recommissioned the inverter. We can verify that the firmware version is correct by tapping on the display, which will cause the firmware version to cycle through on the display, like so. There we see, 2.62.
That's it for this tech tip. I'm Mike Mahan from SMA America Solar Academy. If you'd like to learn more about the Sunny Boy TLUS with SPS, please visit our website, sma-america.com. Thanks for joining us. See you soon.